Hey team, it's day 37. I hope you guys are doing well. Wanting to get through the six goals, but also wanting to get into a question I've received a lot of. And I know we've talked a little bit on this subject before, but I wanted to get into it a tad bit deeper. And then if you guys have any additional questions, we can address them in the comments or in, in, in subsequent videos as always. But what type of cardio is best? Let's just talk about that as it relates to you know what I'm doing. We'll go through a bunch of different scenarios, but first let's get into the six goals. I got to use red tonight and it's for sleep again and I don't care at this point in time. Uh, I know what it's probably doing. It's probably stunting my uh, weight loss a little bit. I'm going to get like tomorrow. I will have my seven, at least my seven hours. I will not open my eyes until I have seven. It's just like I'm hitting this, this moment in the morning and I honestly believe it's because I'm now that I've stopped the cardio stuff, I'm actually drinking a little more water. Um, so I've been getting up to go to the bathroom and it's like, it's just back and forth trying to try things to make sure that I'm getting my seven. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get that seven to eight tonight because remember, why do we want to get our sleep? Everything that you do leads to, um, from a sleep perspective leads to like cravings with food, your hormone hormones are off. If you don't remember what we went through in the sleep episode on hormones, I forget which one that was. I thought that was maybe 10 days ago or something, but go back through the videos uh, on my YouTube site and you'll see that, you know, there's a lot of different hormones involved. And when you get that lack of sleep from seven to eight hours, it just messes with a whole lot of other things, which leads to weight gain and early death. Let's just go there. So get your sleep between seven and eight hours. Even like an hour and a half plus or minus, when you go through the video, you'll, you'll he see it. It's not good news. But anyway, day 37, got the red out already prepared, you know, 220 pounds. I actually, hey, I did see 119 today again, though. I did see 119, 119.6, 119.6. So I'm scaring those teens. I'm telling you, watch tomorrow. They're going to just slap me right back up and above that 220. But I think I've seen it a couple times. If I see three or four more times, then I know that I'm in that downward trend. So I think just one more time, I'll call it a trend. Twice, we're getting there, okay? So 1418, that's a little low. I didn't even notice that, but a little low. I got busy yesterday with work and some classes and all that kind of stuff. So six hours of sleep. Yeah, it's creeping on me. I can tell because I actually switched sleep and water on tonight when I wrote it down, whatever. Uh, 124 ounces of water, 50 minutes of activity, and 229 grams of protein. So when I talk about activity, you guys, I just want to break it down because that was another question I got is like, what type of activity are you doing? So 50 minutes for me, that was lifting last night. So I did, I did uh, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Okay, so I'm doing kind of a push, pull, legs type uh, workout when I can, but I'm not working out as hard as I normally do because I'm dropping a lot of weight. And also I told you guys, like from an activity perspective, that could be the first thing that goes. So Remember when we do this here, it is calories, sleep, and water. That is our trifecta. Those are the three we need to hit. But let's get into what type of cardio is best, okay? And so when you think about it, uh, you first of all wanna know about like your goals. Like what are your goals for your weight loss? Or what are your goals for your cardio? That's better. Like what are you using the cardio for? In my case, uh, when I do cardio, I'm not doing it often and, and not that much in this whole deal is because I want to truly just keep my activity kind of normal of what I do just to, just to kind of prove my, prove my point on the weight. But normally you can use cardio for a couple different things. So uh, like weight with late lifters or bodybuilders, what they do is, is they're really in that belief, kind of like I'm a little bit of like, you're in an anabolic state or you're in a catabolic state, right? So when you're anabolic, that just means you're building, right? So you're building all this muscle as much as you can. You're in a calorie surplus. You're gaining some fat around it as well. So you're building up your muscle as much as you can. And then you do cardio to you get that calorie depletion. You're trying to hold on as much muscle as you can so you get ripped, you know, and, and then you go compete for shows. I'm not, I'm never gonna compete. I just, that's not one of my goals, but I, used to hang with a bunch of guys who did it that way and they actually were very successful. I've, so I've just always done it that way. Uh, other people will use cardio as their calorie deficit because they don't want to nail a hardcore nutrition plan. So uh, there's a couple of people that I used to hang around who looked great, but they would do bouts of cardio for ebb 
forever and then hit opposite days, but it's because they didn't want to follow an eating plan. So they did enough cardio to somewhat compensate for those extra calories or the, the, the eating that they wanted to enjoy in life. Uh, and then the last thing people to use the, the cardio for is, you know, whatever a, a, uh, sports or activity that they're in, where it's a cycling, you know, whether you're playing amateur sports, uh, professional sport, you know, professional sports, that's kind of they're doing their workouts. But cardio can be used, you know, to make sure that you are in shape for the cardiovascular side of the activity that you're in. So, there, you know, there's and there's other things that I probably didn't mention. But first of all, you got to establish like with your cardio, like what is my goal? OK, and what, what's this cardio for? In our case, at least, I would believe you'd be asking the question like if for weight loss, you know, what is the best type of cardio? Now, when you go into it, a lot of trainers and industry uses what we call the fit print. Fit. I cannot talk tonight. It's probably because I've been lacking sleep all week. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness gracious. So basically, it rolls through that it's frequency, intensity, type, and time. Okay? So basically, it's how much, how intense, what type of cardio you're going to do in, in the time. So if you ever hear the fit, fit principle, that's what they mean. So the bike, the treadmill, stair stepper, row machine, elliptical, those are kind of the ones that I could think of as far as stationary cardio in a gym's concerned, is the rowing machine and probably the stair stepper are your two that are going to burn the most. Um, you know, your bike, depending on how heavy from an intensity perspective you're going, that could be good. Treadmill, I mean, you could put it on an incline and run. Uh, and elliptical, you know, that's tougher to get. But in the end, if you did an hour of cardio on all of these at the intensity that you can handle, you're going to probably burn negligibly right around the same amount of calories. Kind of crazy, right? But let's think about just the basic formula of, of, of mass times distance, you know, is energy, right? So that's how you're going to burn your calories. So even though you may be stationary, you're technically moving that weight and taking that mass a certain amount of distance. That's why the elliptical is probably not going to burn as much, but what can you do? You can crank up the intensity. So what I always say is depending on what you're using your cardio for, you, you probably, if you're just, I don't like to use the word average because people that work out, I believe are already above average and people that are trying to better themselves physically so they can feel better about themselves and, and use the gifts God gave them to go help other people in the world. I like to call that above average. So for the above average person that's actually getting in their workouts and cardio and really working hard on that goal to get to their physical level of where they can be their best both internally so they can, they can give out their gifts to the world externally and feel confident and comfortable about it, I would say that any one of these is good to go. But start with kind of a frequency that you can do. So if it's two times a week, if it's three times a week, you're good, right? Um, but intensity, so it's, it's frequency intensity, find out which one works for you, do it for a certain amount of time. And the, the T is the second T is just the type, you know, from this is from a cardio perspective, you can use this principle for weights and other things as well. But for a cardio perspective, so pick out the one you like and do it. Or a more advanced one is your high intensity interval training. Now we've talked about that and how because it's such a high intensity thing. Um, the science does suggest that because you're using so much oxygen, right? Your body's trying to settle itself after that compared to like a slow cardio. So the afterburn or the VO2 kind of like slow down or burn down is going to, you know, burn more calories, you know, above and beyond just your calorie deficit. You normally do with what I always call slow cardio. Um, but you can make these things as intense as you want. So, I think what you just re need to remember is what's your goal? If you're nailing uh, the calories, sleep and water, uh, or if you're doing a red, yellow, green, or whatever type of program you're doing, like it kind of depends, <laughs> you know? So that's what I would say. It kind of depends for me. Uh, when I do cardio, it's, it depends. If I want to do a shorter bout, I'll go higher intensity for a shorter amount of time and get my heart rate up and go. But the biggest question some people ask uh, after they get going on this, the FIT principle and, and, and get their intensities, they ask, well, you know, it's getting easier. Like, I'm starting to be able to go longer and should I switch up machines? 
And I would just say, well, doing an hour at a similar intensity, all of these things, you're going to burn about the same amount of calories, negligible between the two. And some people might argue, but I don't care. It's my video. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but bump up your intensity a little bit. Maybe do it one more day a week and maybe do it a little bit longer. It's going to burn more calories. So if you're looking at really that cal creating that calorie deficit, you'll get it. Now, uh, CrossFitters and, and people are, are well, some people that like to, to hit it super hard. They might be doing hit more because they, they heard that it's great for you. I believe, and this is just my personal opinion, that hit is okay, but I believe you should probably do some of this. If you're not, if you haven't hit the cardio that much, you should be doing some of this. Work up on the intensity, work up on the time um, that you're going, or the frequency and the work up on the amount of time that you're going before you start dabbling into the high intensity interval training. Because if your goal is truly calorie deficits and weight loss, you can start here and you will burn more calories in your hit. You just will because the intensity is higher, called high intensity. You may go for shorter bouts, but because you know the science just suggests like the fat activation and, and amount of calories you can burn after that is great. But when I've done hit the way you're truly supposed to do hit, like to the core, I mean like as hard as you can, I don't really want to do too many things after that. It, it spends your body. And for me, when I, when I'm doing my cardio, when I'm lifting, when I used to lift a ton and then, you know, I've, I was cutting down and all that kind of stuff, like, you know, that slow cardio, you would be able to lift and use your glycogen stores and any of the carbohydrates you had in your system to, to push the weight around and do your lifting and do your activity that you would want. And then you'd still be able to do some cardio. If you would do a lot of lifting and stuff, you, you've used your glycogen and things and hit is such an anaerobic thing that you tend to not be able to do one or the other for as much as you want. Like if you lifted heavier things and then you'd try to do hit, it wouldn't work. So you'd have to almost do them on opposite days. So all I'm trying to say is, uh, after all that gibberish, is it just depends. You can choose what you want to do, but just remember, if it starts to get easier, that just means your heart is probably getting a little better in shape and your cardiovascular is improving, which is an awesome thing. So in increase the intensity. Maybe, like I said, maybe go an extra day and, and, and you can switch it up because you're not really worried about how much time you spend. If you want to do stationary cardio, you're going to build about, you're going to burn about the same. But if I were you, and if I lived in a nice area, we got, you know, foot and a half of snow where I'm at now, uh, it feels like, I mean, it's a lot of snow, but we don't normally get that much. I would go outside because you're still having a mass times distance. You still have to take that body and move it somewhere. It, it actually, you get vitamin D from the sun, you get outside, maybe you walk with somebody, you get social, you're not in front of a screen, you're not in front of a TV on a cardio machine. Uh, I would do it outside if you guys could. One of my favorite things to do when it's nice enough to walk here is to go outside, walk, and listen to my buds on my latest cardio book. And it's just kind of a fun thing to do. So I know I threw like three or four different things at you, but I want to give you exposure to, there's a lot of things you can do. There's never, a, there's not a right answer. But that's why I threw the fit principle up here. And you guys can Google it. It's, it's everywhere. So, like, use that. And just when, you, when it starts to get easier, don't think that, oh, my goodness, now i got to, like, throw out the baby with the bathwater and change it all up. You know, I, I think that you, you just say, oh, okay, I'm going to increase the intensity. Well, if you're on a machine, boop, 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 a couple more levels up. Or, hey, maybe I'm going to go to the stair climber and, and, and climb the stairs, you know. Intensity. Switch up the intensity. Maybe you don't want to go any longer. Maybe you can't give any more days. Intensity is the first place. So you just kind of use this formula and, you know, crank, crank one of them up. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And just remember that every bit of cardio you can do is going to help you, A, burn calories, and B, it's going to help with your cardiovascular health, which should uh, lower all the markers that we have uh, for having a bad heart and things and should help with longevity. And, and extending life. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. If you have questions or suggestions, let me know. Uh, I'll do them in subsequent videos and or just drop them in the comments and I'll, I'll answer if I can there. But I appreciate your support. I hope this is good information. I, I, feel like, I feel like there's just so many things we can talk about and so many rabbit holes we can go down. But I believe as long as you're just using this principle and like I said, you can Google it or, or look it up and you just increase one, one thing or the other, or even if you change the type, 
you know, keeping with the frequency and intensity, I think you'll be just fine. And overall, you'll find what you truly like. And that's the most important thing. As long as cardio is enjoyable to you, you're good. For me, I have to listen to something. I have to do something while I'm doing cardio because I don't like thinking about that. And unless I'm playing a sport or doing an activity like some racquetball or baseball, football or anything like that, I'm just not a huge fan. That's why I talk about calories and water and sleep because yeah, I just, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge fan of using calories to get or using cardio to get those extra calories off. I like cardio for a cardiovascular perspective. And if I do need a little bit in the end, like, trust me, if I'm, if I'm squeaking towards that 206 at, in the end, I know what I need to do to get some of those extra calories off. And I'll be honest with you guys if I do, but for the most part, this was mainly informational for you all. And if, um, and I hope it helps. So that's that. Have a good rest of your day. And as always, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.